It was a simple sphere, just three and a half inches across, a polished ball of plutonium, warm to the touch. Originally slated for use against Japan had the war continued. It was the core for a third atomic bomb. It would never be used in war, but it would still claim its victims. History knows it as the Demon Core. At the Los Alamos Laboratory after World War II, scientists continued to probe the limits of the atom. They performed dangerous criticality experiments, pushing the core to the very edge of a chain reaction, a process they called tickling the dragon's tail. On August 21, 1945, physicist Harry Daglian was working alone at night. While stacking tungsten bricks around the core to reflect its neutrons, he dropped one. In that split second, the core went critical, unleashing a flash of blue light. As Daglian instinctively knocked the brick away, his hand passed through the intense column of radiation. He had absorbed a fatal dose and died 25 days later in agony. The core, now scarred by one tragedy, was used again. Nine months later, the brilliant but notoriously bold physicist Louis Slotin demonstrated the same test. Known for his cavalier confidence, Slotin ignored safety protocols, using only a flathead screwdriver, his preferred and forbidden tool, to keep two halves of a beryllium sphere separated from the core. Then, the screwdriver slipped, the room erupted in an intense blue flash, a wave of heat and a sour taste of ionized air washed over the men. In a final, heroic act, Slotin used his body as a shield and tore the hemispheres apart with his bare hands, stopping the chain reaction. He knew instantly what he had done. He calmly turned to his colleagues and said, well, that does it. He died nine days later, his body ravaged by radiation. The Demon Corps had claimed its second victim. The hands-on, dragon-tickling era of nuclear physics was over, replaced forever by remote-controlled machines. The core itself, a cursed object that had killed two of its creators, was finally detonated in a nuclear test, or so they say. Its legacy is a brutal lesson, a terrifying monument to the human cost of discovery, and a permanent reminder that when you work with the fundamental powers of the universe, there is no room for error.